Hi, this is Mark Ryan, and we're going to go today through the process of creating grounding with a Vertex AI Palm 2 text model. So we're going to start with this. The overall idea of grounding is you take a data source that's been defined in Vertex AI search, you make that available to the Palm model, and you can ground interactions with that model using the data source that you've defined in Vertex AI Search. Look for search and conversation. And here I've defined an app and this app, look at the data source for it. It's defined to search at this URL, which is the URL for Google, cloud documentation for vertex ai generative ai so we've defined this data source and the one thing we're going to need here is the data source id so we're going to use that in a moment to define the grounding so to define the grounding using the console we're going to go to vertex ai Now for this project, I've set up the Vertex AI APIs. So two steps to get started here. First, I created an app in Vertex AI search to get a data source ID. And second, I have enabled the APIs required for Vertex AI. And here I'm going to go to Model Garden. So here we are in the Model Garden. We're looking at Palm Text Bison, and we are going to open Prompt Design. And here we're going to ask a question, how to tune a model and submit that. So as you can see, the answer is a generic answer. This is based on the overall training that the model has. So this is not specifically about any particular framework. It is general advice on how to tune a model. And this is based on the overall training that the, um, that the model has. What we want to do is scope the responses so they are grounded on the documentation for Vertex AI, Generative AI. So we get answers that are related to that particular area. And the way that we can do that is using the data source that we defined when we created the Vertex AI search app. So first we're gonna go over here and specify text bison as the model. We're going to click on advanced. And then here you can specify grounding. So you enable grounding and click on customize. And the one thing you need here is the Vertex AI data store path. And the format for that path is over here. So we specify in this format, the project ID and the data source ID. Where did that data source ID come from? from over here in Vertex AI search. The data source ID for the app that we defined that uses the URLs for the Vertex AI generative AI documentation. So we're going to copy this whole path, paste it here. And now we're going to submit and see what answer we get. And now we get an answer that is grounded on the documentation for Vertex AI Generative AI. Not only do we get the answer that's grounded there, but we get the sources for the grounding. That's all thanks to the Vertex AI search app that we use to ground the responses for the model. So what you've seen here is you can ground the responses for text bison and chat bison using Vertex AI search apps. Those Vertex AI search apps can be based on URLs, documents, tables in BigQuery, a whole variety of different data sources. And it makes it very easy 
to ground the model responses, you can do that using the user interface in the console. You can also do it using curl and Python. So thanks very much for watching and please leave a comment.